Welcome to Apple Park. We have so much to talk about today. We'll start with our OS announcements and then we'll dive deeper into intelligence. Let's start with our newest operating system, Vision OS. Spatial computing has reinvented how you view your photos. There's nothing like seeing them life-size with incredible fidelity. Spatial photos are even more powerful, bringing life and realism to your favorite moments with family and friends. People are amazed at how easy it is to navigate Vision Pro with just their eyes, hands, and voice. And with Vision OS 2, we've made it even easier. Now you can just hold your hand up and tap to open home view. Or flip your hand over to bring up time and battery level and tap again to open Control Center. Vision OS 2 introduces a new way to turn your favorite photos into spatial photos. New intuitive gestures, a big boost to productivity with Mac virtual display, powerful new developer APIs, and so much more. We're bringing Apple Vision Pro to these eight countries next. iOS 18 is a big release that delivers more ways to customize your iPhone, stay connected, and relive special moments. And now, your app icons and widgets can add even more because I can arrange my apps and widgets to frame it perfectly. We're also bringing new levels of customization and capability to Control Center. I can swipe to multiple new groups of controls, like for media playback. To add more controls, I can open up the new Controls Gallery, where I have so many options to choose from. And iOS 18 gives you even more ways to control who can see your apps, how you share your contacts, and how you connect to accessories. When you choose to lock an app, if someone else tries to tap it, they will be required to authenticate using Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. There may also be occasions when you want to hide an app that you don't want others to know is installed on your device. So in iOS 18, we're giving you all new ways to express yourself and stay connected. This is a huge year for tapbacks. We've not only redesigned your favorites, we're now giving you limitless ways to express yourself by letting you tap back with any emoji or sticker. Now, you can use the satellite capabilities on iPhone 14 and later to connect to satellites hundreds of miles above the Earth to text your friends and family when you're off the grid. Continuing on our journey to replace your physical wallet, we're introducing Tap to Cash, a quick and private way to exchange Apple Cash without sharing phone numbers or email addresses. So that's iOS 18, a big release that brings deeper customization to iPhone, new ways to stay connected in messages and mail, enhancements to privacy, and the biggest photos redesign ever. And so much more, including an option for larger icons on the home screen, RCS messaging support, and reminders integration in calendar. Next, I'll hand it over to Ron to tell us the latest in audio and home. We've created the ability to simply nod your head yes or gently shake your head no to interact. Call from Gam Gam. Answer it? Okay. This year, we're introducing some updates that make watching TV even more enjoyable. When you're watching an Apple original show or movie, just swipe down on the remote and Insight will show the actors and their character names in real time. And Enhanced Dialog now uses machine learning for even greater vocal clarity, ensuring that the actor's dialogue will always cut through. Go, 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 go! Rory, you are driving recklessly! I'm in the middle of a high-speed car chase! So that's audio and home, bringing you more convenient ways to interact with AirPods, new entertainment experiences with Apple TV, and there's more like a redesigned Apple Fitness Plus experience that's perfect for the big screen. Next, here's David to tell you about watchOS. In watchOS 11, we're introducing Training Load, an insightful way to measure how the intensity and duration of your workouts are impacting your body over time. Powerful new algorithm automatically translates our sensor data into an estimate of your effort rating. And that's the Vitals app, a new way to quickly view your most important health metrics, receive alerts when it's time to pay more attention to your body, and gain better context when it comes to your health. That's what's coming in watchOS 11. A redesigned photo space, a more intelligent smart stack, training load, the Vitals app, new APIs for developers, and so much more, like turn-by-turn -turn directions for walking and hiking routes you've created. 
Our next release, iPadOS 18, starts with features you saw on iOS, like new ways to personalize your home screen, customize Control Center, and relive special moments in the Photos app. Let's take a look at updates to SharePlay and Freeform. One of SharePlay's best features is screen sharing. Now, you can tap and draw on your screen to point out what they should do on theirs. And if you need to assist more directly, you can ask for permission to remotely control their iPad or iPhone. Next, I wanna talk about a feat that some may have concluded must be a mathematical impossibility. That's right, we're bringing Calculator to iPad. Yay! And that's iPadOS 18, taking the distinct experience of iPad further with a big update to apps that makes navigating easier and more responsive and new ways to work that have been reimagined with Apple Pencil. Welcome to macOS Sequoia. Let's start with continuity. There's a brand new continuity feature called iPhone mirroring. With iPhone mirroring on Mac, I can see what's on my iPhone and can control it too, all while barely lifting a finger. And I can open any of my iPhone apps, like the Phil's Coffee app for a bit of extra energy for my favorite local coffee shop. We're bringing iPhone notifications to Mac. They appear alongside my Mac notifications, and I can even interact with them when I don't have my iPhone handy. And macOS Sequoia has fantastic updates to how you arrange your windows. When you drag a window to the edge of the screen, macOS automatically suggests a tiled position on your desktop. And now we're introducing the Passwords app. Passwords makes it easy to access your credentials and have them securely stored all in one place. It's a big release that uplevels your productivity and creativity. You can quickly tile windows for your ideal workspace. A massive update to Safari helps you browse the web distraction-free. An amazing host of new gaming titles are coming to the Mac. And iPhone mirroring lets you wirelessly use your iPhone right from your Mac. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system that puts powerful generative models right at the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And now you can create totally original images to make everyday conversations even more enjoyable. So when you wish a friend a happy birthday, you can create an image of them surrounded by cake, balloons, and flowers to make it extra festive. The greatest source of tools for taking actions is already in your pocket with the apps you use every day. And we have designed Apple Intelligence so it can tap into these tools and carry out tasks on your behalf. So you can say things like, pull up the files that JAWS shared with me last week, or show me all the photos of mom, Olivia, and me. Right off the bat, you'll see Siri's got a new look. Let me show you. You'll notice it's more deeply integrated into the system experience with this elegant glowing light that wraps around the edge of your screen. For times when you're filling out a form and need to input your driver's license, Siri will be able to find a photo of your license, extract your ID number, and type it into the form for you. Leveraging the power of Apple intelligence, you can create Genmoji on device right in the keyboard. Just provide a description and you'll see your Genmoji appear right before your eyes, along with more options to choose from. We went even further with a new system experience we call Image Playground, and we built it right into apps like Messages. This all happens on device, so you have the freedom to experiment and create as many images as you want. ImageWand can transform a rough sketch into a polished image that complements your notes and makes them more visual. Suppose you want a better image for your architectural history course. With ImageWand, you can circle your rough sketch using Apple Pencil, ImageWand uses on-device intelligence to analyze your sketch and words and creates an image for you. We have an update to photo editing. Now, the new cleanup tool will identify distracting objects in the background so you can make them disappear. Apple Intelligence is available for free with iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia. We want you to be able to use these external models without having to jump between different tools. So we're integrating them right into your experiences. So Siri can tap into ChatGPT's expertise when it might be helpful for you. You can just ask Siri. Siri determines that ChatGPT might have good ideas for this, asks your permission to share your question, and presents the answer directly. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. ChatGPT integration will be coming to iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia later this year. Apple intelligence harnesses the power of our most advanced silicon, 
and will be available on iPhone 15 Pro and iPad and Mac with M1 and later. Apple Intelligence will be available to try out in US English this summer.